XRP will start with one over charge. Just want to give a quick update. And if you refer to our analysis in my last video, since the price was then here, we discussed about this one for the next drop. And exactly it's happened, but it dropped more than what we expected. All right. Anyway, we know most of the chart, even the Bitcoin, we see this drop. And uh, in this case, we start with higher time frame. We start with the daily chart. And if we move to daily chart, we mentioned since we get this drop flowing by this correction, we mentioned we can expect the price to drop exactly as happened. And the only question is right now, the price broke or they even tagged the lowest price of this correction, but it couldn't break the lowest price of this one. Right now, the, the question is whether we should consider about the divergence or not. It depends on the strategy the traders they use, right? If the price could at least tag 0 0.65 or 66 cent, we can we could conform with the divergence, but at this point it depends on the strategy the traders they use. But for me, I can consider about the divergence. That mean still I will look for the reversal as a long term because for buy we mentioned we're looking for the reversal as a long term. I will break out of 1.42. We're looking for 1.65 at least and two. All right, this is the target at least we can look for. But based on daily chart, we don't see any reversal point yet. And we don't see any opportunity for buy. And if I move to forward chart, and even if we refer to my last analysis, I mentioned the best thing is if the price could break the lowest price of this correction before we look for the reversal. As what we expected, the price dropped, but it dropped more than what we expected. Because we mentioned at least we want a price tag 79. Because since the price was within here, we mentioned we can expect the price drop to 83 following by 79 cents. All right. And it goes pause because at what we expected, the price could break the lowest price of this correction. And right now we want to see whether we can look for the reversal or not. And if we put this low in relative to the previous one, and if we refer to the indicators, we see we have a divergence. All right. But based on uh, forward chart, I don't see any trade setup either for buy or sell. And if I move to one hour chart. All right. And if we move to one hour chart, similar explanation, still we can expect this one give us a drop. That means still we can expect for price to extend here. But if I get any reversal, any opportunity for buy, I will take it. Having in three above this can be an option. It's not really good, but if traders, they know how to manage it, they can put their in three above this. Stop. But for me at this point, I don't see any trade setup for buy. And again, if you refer to our analysis, since the price was here, I will highlight about this. I mentioned we want to see one more drop and the price tag the lowest price of this correction. That's why I mentioned we point on the 79 cent before we see the reversal. The reasons I mentioned, I want a one more drop because I mentioned we want to see how deep this one can go and exactly this has happened and the price dropped quite a lot, okay? And at this point, still we can expect the price to drop, but uh, we don't see any trade setup. We're mostly looking for buy. And in this case, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share, thanks.